No Matondo, no Danilo. Well, that means no chance for our Rangers in the Europa League. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. The announcement of the squad has been made, and there is a couple of surprising absences in there. So we're going to look at the Rangers squad that has been selected for the upcoming Europa League. And, uh, yeah, like I said, a couple of big players missing out. I wouldn't say it's particularly no chance. I still think there's still points to be had, but when you're leaving millions of pounds just sitting there, they, I mean, the questions are massive, but the reality is they're both injured. 68 weeks for Matondo, four weeks for Danilo. Yo, let's pick up on Danilo a little bit, because I think Desso seems to be the guy that has got all the abuse. He's got all the negativity from the, the Michael Beal transfer error. But is Danilo not a bigger disappointment than Dessers? Because yeah. first of all, he costs more than Dessers. He's been injured the majority of the time he's been at Rangers. And even when he does play, his goal-scoring record's just not been as good as Dessers. So, you know, as much abuse and as much stick and criticism as, as Dessers gets, does Danilo not deserve a lot more? I think there's still a lot of people out there that give Danilo the benefit of the doubt and they believe he should be the number one striker at Rangers when he's back fully fit. I mean, like that could be the case, but I don't think he's done a lot to prove that. No, he hasn't done a lot to prove it. And uh, yeah, I agree. I think Danilo, I said, give him till January. And if he does, if he stays fit, keep him. If he doesn't, sell him. So, I mean, is, is he the what new... What am I saying? Sell him. Is he the new Kamar Roof? He looks that way. Just replace <laughs> one fucking biscuit of wheat bit for another? And he's here for 2028. You know, it's a long-ass time. Anyway, goalkeepers, no uh, surprises do, in here. Well, before we talk about the goalkeeper, do Rangers sign injury-ridden players? No, or do players injury become players. injury-ridden at Rangers? Which one is it? Well, it's a bit of both. I mean, Roof was always injury-ridden. But we seem to make it players injury-ridden as well. It's just no good enough, man. It's no good enough, but let's speak about an area where I, I think Rangers actually are good enough, and that is the goalkeeping position. So... We have Jack Butland, Liam Kelly, and I have no idea who the third choice goalkeeper is. Lewis Boone. I mean, he's got a Scottish first name, but like a Lithuanian second name. So, I mean. I have hearts love the Lithuanians, so you should be able to pronounce that no bother. Well, we've got nightmares. Like PTSD, I get for Lithuanian. Well, I've got SHIT. Shite. If not shit, but. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't too good. That, it no. doesn't work, Eric, but no. you know what? Let's, the goalkeeper's no issues, all right? I would start Liam Kelly. It's a good, good job. You were the install game, mate, when they made nine seasons. That's plenty. You would have been cancelled early. Cancelled early for dropping the E off my shite. Anyway, dropping the E off. <laughs> anyway, you think Liam Kelly should be starting? Yeah, I think Butler's had made too many mistakes. Time to give Liam Kelly. You believe Liam Kelly should be the number one, or you believe he should be the first choice keeper in Europe? I think he should be starting games. Does he deserve a chance? Fuck I. Will he get a chance? No. Like well, he couldn't even get the league cup. Exactly. So, Fuck I mean, I. No, that's not even right. Do you think Liam Kelly with hindsight regrets this, or does he think, hold on, here I'm sitting on the bench at Rangers making a lot of money? That's probably it. I. Is that not poor though? I get it. Liam Kelly's a Rangers fan or whatever, or at least he, I'm assuming he was. Used to be at the club, but like he's 28, right? See when you get to like 34, 30, I can maybe accept it. See 28 though. Should he not be looking? Is that is he not doing like the opposite of Robbie McCrory? Robbie McCrory could have stayed at Rangers, and well, I feel bad for Robbie McCrory because he's kind of left Rangers and now he's second fiddle at Camarnock, so he would have been better off at Rangers. But like, it's, I don't know. Like maybe Liam Kelly has ambition, and he came to Rangers thinking he could fight for the number one spot. But how can you fight for the number one spot when you can't even get games in like the shitty League Cup? Well, you know what? He's got no better opportunity than this today, or this season, because Butland has went off the rails. He's been pissed since March. But Clement is a stubborn, baldy, clueless tool. So I think, yeah, Butland's going to start every game. Is Butland another one of those players that Rangers just missed the boat on and should have capitalised and sold him when he yep, was at his peak value? that's it. Because I, I don't want... I hate, I hate bringing it up because it feels like he's talking about all the time. But when you, when you look at your, like, your Barisic's and your Kent's and your Morelos, it's, you know what I mean? Rangers at one point had a, a, a lot of money. Your golds and like Rangers could have got a lot of money for these guys and didn't. Yep. And I just don't think that Rangers will ever get the kind of money that they could have got for Jack Butland no. in the summer there. They won't never don't see it happening, but here. It's their best position in terms of depth. No, it is. They've they've got two 
I mean, they've got two goalkeepers that I think you wouldn't really look at it and go, that's a weak link. So, I mean, if yes. Yeah. All right, into, they, they, probably, they probably haven't got any other positions where you can say that. Into defenders, you've got two right backs, you've got two left backs, and you've got four centre backs. So. Oh, I mean, that's kind of what you want. Well, let's, let's talk about the right backs. First of all, do John Sterling, James Tavernier. I think we all know how this is going to go. James Tavernier is going to be the starting right back, and I mean, Sterling might even find himself playing in midfield. That's it. Uh, Rumours are Tav could be off to Turkey or Qatar. I'm praying for it. I wish for moments like that. Uh, I used to defend the guy, but I don't think I can anymore. No, it's done. It's it's all over. It's, it's all over. Uh, no, it's done. Uh, left back, you have Rudfan, Yomas and, and, and Hefty. I mean, it's weird because Yomas last year, a lot of people were saying he was Rangers' best player. Yep. And now people are saying he's shite and they want him at the club. I want him at... He's too injury prone. Unreliable. All that shite. Uh, but it's, where, where's the loyalty? Or, like, where's the... Where's I mean, the loyalty? Maybe not loyalty. Maybe like, he but... gave us trophies that mattered, mate. Fucking I'd back... Yeah, but I mean, how can a year ago Rangers fans be talking him up as if, oh, he's the, he's the best thing? Because there's team. Rangers fans out there pretending that Connor Barnes, the fucking greatest thing on God. Oh, if he started against Poland, we would have won. Oh, I did. We went on Sunday. Well, what was your thoughts on Yomas last year? I thought year? he was all right. But he's unreliable, man. He gives you one good game, then he misses the next 10. I so, fucking can't deal with that. For, for you, who's better, Hefty or Yomas? I mean, probably, yeah, it would be Yilmaz, but yeah, if he's not even a left back, man, he's a left mid. He's so much better going forward than he is defensively. <laughs> Heard that one before at Rangers. If Rangers keep them both fit, have, have they got decent options there? Yeah, but they can't, because Yilmaz has made it a wee bit. Right, well, it seems a lot of Rangers players made huh? it a lot. Sponsored right. by Cereal Rangers or something? Go, go, sorry, I mean, they, they are sponsored by Kellogg's Rangers. <laughs> go, uh, so they've got some form of partnership. Go and sign a, a stronger form of cereal. Right. <laughs> Well, what, what, what's fucking crunchy and breaks your teeth? Nails. Not really cereal, though. <laughs> Nails. I worry about you sometimes, man. <laughs> oh, worry. Big Stevie, cool. Fucking Big Stevie Uncool at the moment, man. You do a fed and fucking people praise me. <laughs> Fuck me. Great fed, Stevie. Guy's fucking laying in his bed, conked out. Oh, great fed, Stevie. Aye, bright. Anyway, um, let's move into the centre-back sense. So we've got... Strange, just had that problem. Raising somebody that didn't even play. Ah, bury, right. The bury people don't even play. Centre backs, proper shite, super <laughs> shite. Uh, Kaz and Weirjo don't know Balogun decrepit, so there you go. Ah, it's good. See, when you're closer to your 40th birthday than your 30th as a footballer, you know it's coming to the. Fuck me, in a few years I'll be saying that. Jesus Christ, um, you're closer <laughs> to uh, 60 than your zero, mate. Oh, that's not nice, is it? <laughs> that's not nice. Ugh. Anyway, uh, what was the point we were trying to make? Oh, aye, centre-backs. What's your order of Rangers centre-backs? We'll only go with the ones that have been selected here for this European squad, so don't really care about uh, Lee and King or anyone else who's on the payroll. That's not Why here. is he not in the squad, by the way? Because if you put more Scottish players in, you get more players in. Yeah, I, I personally don't really understand it. Um, honestly, man, I, I think it's... I think it's Suter, Balogun, proper... And then I'll go with Casawiro because I want, I, I, it's impossible to tell. I've no, I, I thought he was the right back. Now, I, I know there were some Rangers fans that were, you know, over the moon with this appointment. That apparently have seen him play millions of times in Europe. Now I, I haven't seen him play, so I can't really sit here and I've say. I've not seen him play. Um, I've nothing to say. What is there to say? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, he's not even got a face pick, so it's like. I think it was hefty to be fair, but still. Yeah, you're Liam Kelly, but it's pretty much you. Yo, but you look at it on paper, right? You love John Sutter for whatever reason. He betrayed your club, like, but anyway. Proper, former 20 captain, right? Leon Balligan, you know. Former is QPR good. legend. On his day, like, he's very good. Kazem Weirdo, all right. Unknown, but could be great. It's like on paper, those four centre backs look like they're capable of doing something, but then you watch every game this season. John Sutter was on the field when Rangers won a Scottish Cup. This wasn't in the Rangers team. <laughs> you know, like, Leon Balogun. But uh, he, he was there, like, you know what I mean? So, do you think they should... With the fact that he was going to the Rangers, man, do you think they should have let him hold the trophy or something? Jambo Bears would have been happy with that one, wouldn't they? Here, here, here right. I wonder how we touch. Midfielders, we've only got six. Right, we've got Cortez, Baron, Diomande, uh, Barami... Kieran, how the fuck is Kieran Dowell in here? And Nicholas Raskin. How's Kieran Doyle in there? 
over Yanis Hadji. It, it, see, Kieran Dow, is that not the equivalent of Steve Clark picking Kenny McLean or something? Yep. It's just a weird signing that I, I never understood. Yo, I know the funny thing is about Kieran Darrell. Michael Beale, I mean, he's we're done not, a lot of no, damage. See Kieran Darrell, we're not talking about a guy that's 33. We're talking about a guy that's fucking 26. Ah, this guy should be at his peak, you know, putting on great games and performances. But, but no. Right, Cortez. Uh, yeah, Michael Beale done a lot of damage, didn't he? Yeah, Cortez, right. Injury prone, is currently injured right now. So the logic for not picking Danilo or Matondo goes out the window because you've picked this guy. Barron, apparently, is the best midfielder in Scotland. Uh, Diamonde. Apparently, he'll go for the most money in Scotland. Then you've got Bajrami, as people, in my opinion. Really? That's what people are saying. I don't rate him. I don't rate him. No, but see, according to Twitter, man, and TikTok, oh, Rangers have got the best players in every position. Well, why don't we win fucking games, then? Why don't we win titles? Because we don't. Yeah. No, see see what Boyd said here, yeah, that the Celtic bench would start for Rangers and, you know, the no Rangers. T- you, you would go through most teams in this league right now. And you would find more starters for Celtic. Than you well, I I went team. I went through the nine players on the Celtic bench, and I believed at the nine there was six of them I would put into the Rangers starting eleven. At the nine, and that what well, I didn't actually include Adia, and I know that pisses a lot of people off. Yeah, someone said you said he, he was better than Lammers, or Lammers was better than him, but I think it was Dessers is what you meant. It was Dessers, but you know what? I'll actually I'll I'll, I'll double down. I actually think Lammers is better than Adia. Lamos? I better goal scoring right Lamos. No, somebody agreed. A Celtic fan agreed he doesn't rate idea. Yeah. And he's worried. Look, I don't care. You can rate. He's ra- worried. <laughs> yeah. Worried about what? The are coming. The Dons are coming. The Dandy Dons are pushing up the Daffa Dills. The Dandy Lions. That's <laughs> plenty. The Bulbs are uh, extinct. The yeah, fuck up, man. Falling after. Rot it to the core. Fake plant size. Anyway, um, what's the point I was trying to make there? Something about. Uh, ideas pish. What do you mean my club's pish? Well, they are. I, I just pish. And he's not worth 9.5 million. He's fucking not. I don't even care. I don't even care if you rate him and you think he's a good player. Why can't you just admit that Celtic overpaid massively? They did, man. No one's telling me he's not worth that. He's yeah, not. But... He's fucking shite. Just because he's got a wee tricolor beside his name, man. Everyone's going to bow down and kiss his ass. He's pants. <laughs> I don't care if he scored important goals last season. Lammers scored important goals in the ever defence. Nah, but they was... do it where it mattered. How do you? Well, it mattered to them, didn't it? Mattered to the it Dutch. Didn't matter. I don't give a fuck. It mattered to the Dutch. It matters here. Here, <laughs> matters here. It matters now. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Anyway, not a lot matters. This. What? What's the? What's Rangers' best mid? Who's the free? If that's what we're going with, a free in midfield. Who's? Who do you want to see fully fit and ready to go? Raskin, Baron, Sterling. I think Diamonde needs dropped. That's plenty. Actually, well, Baj Rami is the 10, mate. Right, well, let's talk about Thomas Lawrence. Because for whatever reason, they want to... Holy call. shit, man! Where's all the wide players? Yeah, where are they? Rangers have got near one. Should have kept Scott Wright. No. <laughs> you, tell, you, look, you tell me you're not looking at this team and you think that Scott Wright could do a bit. Look at the state of this, man. You know, you know the reason Scott Wright gave for going to Birmingham? What? Because he believes in the owner and his ambition to be playing Premier League football. Yeah, Birmingham get to the Premier League. Scott, right? You fucking there. You'll be a part of the Championship team. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, right here we go. Um, Tom Lawrence here is. How can you look at this and go? We're in a good place right now. Like I, I don't. I know, but some of your fellow fans do. Yeah, well, they're deluded. How can you look at that and go? You know what? That this is a team that's going to. I take look us. at it and I think we're fucked. Are you wrong? No. We were talking about like human son going up against James Tavernier, things like that, man. Hey, tell me a little bit more about Hamas Igamani. He came on for 10 minutes against Celtic and was pissed, so. No, that's just awful man management for come on. He's not ready. He's not ready. Well, but I'll fire him on when we're 3 0 down. What, what, why did he fire him on? Did he get one more shot on target to claim bragging rights? Or... Thoughts on Cheerney? Pish. You know what? Not, I, not as good as Robin then? I was quite, I was quite impressed with him because I thought he scored a couple of decent... I mean, that goal against Motherwell was pretty good. He's had, he's had decent passes in his locker, but the old firm was too big for him. Is that not worrying though? If you come, if you come to Rangers and the old firm's too... Is that not the point though? Name me a player in this 21-man squad that the old firm's not too big for and I'll give you $10. That's a fair point. Why is he giving them dollars? Anyway, help, give me... Give us dollars. Giving me a penny for your thoughts. Well, well, I love the channel, lads. Best channel. 
can send us some cash, man, right? We need it more than Rangers. We don't have I, I EBTs and we can't get loan to buys. We can't go into Aston and be like, here, see that pint of milk? Can we get it on loan and we'll buy it next year when it goes out of date? You know, it doesn't fucking work. No. Come on, sir, date, though. Oh, team's at a fucking date, right? Serial Dessels is the main man, the only man, the Nigerian nightmare up front. Can he cause problems for teams in Europe? No. Well, no, he can, man, but Dessels is going to... Do you know Dessels is literally going to be starting every single game for Rangers? I think he, I don't think he's on the form he was last year. No, he's not. I think, I think it took him for granted last year. Well, you know what? He had, a good, he had a good start to the season, but again, when it mattered, his arse went. I'm just sick of it, man. I'm depressed, what else is to say? I want Clement going. I want pretty much every player going. And I want the board going. And I'm not going to get it. And on that note, guys, I think we'll just end it right there. So there's, there's the Rangers team. I'm going to assume that Celtic Hearts have made their squads as well. Yes, they're, there's no point. There's no changes in there. It's always you would expect. Oh, well, we'll cover it anyway. Why well, not? We, why right. would we? Why wouldn't we? That's the, that's the, that's the better oh, question. Let me, let me just look at all these winners. Well, I mean, there's only one team I'd be looking at to claim that. <laughs> Is that the team in Maroon? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> anyway, till then, man. Rangers, it's over, man. No, you've got podcasts on. Yeah, we need to focus on the league, not Europe. Oh, aye, the league. <laughs> Fucking, look how good that's looking, by the way. We need to focus on catching Dundee United for third place. You're behind Jim fucking good when it's not. It's, that's not. <laughs> and, Jim, and a former prospect, a Sam Crow. That's, that's pissed. Jimmy Phelan. That's not great, like, is it? Yeah, she took off. Anyway, right, we took off. We're pissed. It's not well. Rangers are pissed. We're hearts. Do you want the hearts squad, guys? <laughs> I may as well. May as well.